So what I would like to do is I'll just take a few minutes and just remind you guys of what, what there is on this test. Okay, there's not a whole lot. So you got this sheet at the start. Uh, you did. You did. Should I wait a second for you to find it? Okay, so uh, it says solve, solve simple free fall problems using the special equations for constant acceleration. Include horizontal and vertical components of motion of the curved path of a projectile without air resistance. Draw free body diagrams for a projectile at various points along its path with and without air resistance. Calculate the horizontal and vertical components with respect to velocity and position of a projectile. And solve problems for projectiles launched horizontally and at various angles to the horizontal to calculate maximum height, range, and overall time of flight of the projectile. Blah, 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 blah. Know your theory. Know the seven types of problems. What are the seven types of problems? Right? Horizontal ground, straight up. So, straight up, straight down. Right? Horizontal ground at an angle. The throwing to second base. Off a cliff dropped. Some of these are from grade 11. Off a cliff thrown, so straight down, like, except, like pushed down, forced down, fired down. Oh, geez, what did I do? There we go. Number five, off a cliff thrown up and then down. Like that. Off a cliff projected horizontally, the drive the stunt car off the edge of the cliff, type one. And the last one, the Hot Wheels one, projected at an angle like that. Those, those are the seven types of problems. There will only be one of these. Might be a couple of these ones, right? And everything else, there might be one or there's. I know there's for sure one of these. The two challenging ones are these ones and these ones. The rest are sort of multiple choice, fairly easy ones. There might be more than one of these just to fill out the test a little bit. Okay, but that's basically it. You should also be familiar with the stuff in this handout here. And it opens. Okay, we went through, I think there was two handouts right from the start, right? This was sort of the very basic intro theory about how the horizontal and the uh, vertical are independent of each other. We talked a little bit about this kind of stuff, right? You should be able to recognize the vectors, the components at the various points along the path. You should know that the maximum uh, speed is attained or maximum range is attained at 45. That's only true for um, when uh, when the weight of the projectile is comparable to the applied force, right? Um, why? What is that? It's weird. Uh, such things as heavy javelins are thrown. The applied force does not produce the same speed for different projection angles. And maximum range is actually quite a bit less. So heavy things are actually less than 45. But most things are 45. You should know a bit about that. You should know that when there's air resistance, it's not actually a parabola. It's like this. Okay. So be familiar with that handout. Was there two? I think there was two, right? Or was this one here? Is that the same one? That's the same one, right? Yeah. Um... This one here, I think. No, those are notes. Maybe there's just one. So really, there's not a whole lot. Okay, so I'm going to give you today and tomorrow to work on problems. I'm going to hand these labs back here if there's a little problem. Nick, your partner's not here, but... Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, I'll come back there and we'll sort it out. So so that's the plan. Uh, you got today and tomorrow to get ready for this test. Test is Friday. Um, I'll talk to you musical girls, but you guys should be fine. Okay. That is all.